echoing Marcy, hands down, it's the briefing management platform that is our top tool. One of my favorite features in there is that customer portal that is that first line of engagement that automates based on the planning information and insight information that you put in as an end-to-end -end visit information package for everyone that's going to be supporting that visit. We get a lot of feedback on that. Our sales teams love it and so do our customers that, that do utilize it because it becomes that one-stop shop for them for everything associated with their visit, including follow-up information. It's one of the top briefing complaints that people don't follow up with information that was requested and agreed upon to be sent as a part of a customer briefing. So we can work with our event execution team and all of the discussion leaders to make sure that that populates in there. And it gives us that post-engagement touch. And I, I would recommend for anyone, even if you create a homegrown version to utilize that type of tool to make things easy for your, your customers and that experience. One thing that we do within Schneider, because we have such a complex organization, and I, I know I'm preaching to the choir to everyone on this call, but we have different divisions that have different sales force structures that have different go-to-market strategies. They have different terminology and things that are important to them. Now, Dan did mention something earlier, and I am going to follow up with Briefing Edge on it about customized dashboards within their visit management system. One thing that we're really proud of is working with data meshing tools and then Tableau. Uh, so Alteryx is data meshing and then Tableau as a dashboard tool to make it user-friendly and easy to understand is we've merged a lot of that data together for ourselves and created customized dashboards for different leaders across our company to understand the impact and the ROI for our briefing center and all of the innovation hubs in a manner that's meaningful for them. It talks their organization's language, it talks uh, to their key priorities and initiatives. And Ali, if you wanted to throw um, that slide up on the screen, that would be great. Uh, this is a global view, some different dashboards that we have available that are able to be manipulated to drill down into the data points that are preferred. But we also have site-specific dashboards that we use that provide different data points based on visits that came in to a particular location. What you don't see here is some of our dashboards that we use as a way to kind of nudge our sales teams and our leaders, like utilization reporting. It actually puts, in, people can drill down per, per segment, per segment leader, and even the regional directors, and then see their team and the status of visits by their team, and they get logged in green, orange, Yellow, uh, green, orange, yellow, and red. So when they pull things up, they can very quickly see which team members haven't utilized the uh, briefing program in a certain amount of time, and they can talk with them on cadence calls. We build that into KPI reviews for our leaders, and we also have exception reporting because we all know that bad information in equals bad reporting out. So if there are data points that are missing that hurt our ability to measure and, and, and tie back into performance reporting, CFO, our order management system, closed revenue, we actually put that on sales KPI dashboards and the utilization reporting so that leaders can see, all right, it says you've only visited this many times, but I know you visited more. You need to go in. You need to fix the data. And then we'll come back and, and we'll review this. So it, it kind of gives us that touch point to notice where there are issues and then work together with the sales teams to address them. I kind of like the term, how do you tell on someone without telling on someone? Those dashboards are a great way to do that. 